What are their salts, sucrose and cholesterol in the COVID vaccine? As others have mentioned, salts and sucrose are commonly found in vaccines because they help keep it stable and mimic the blood that the vaccine will be injected into. As a microbiologist, perhaps the most exciting part of the COVID vaccine is actually the cholesterol and other lipids that are in it. These lipids are like little packages that deliver mRNA into cells. You can put any mRNA into the packages and have a potential vaccine, pending clinical trials, of course. Just like how you wouldn't open an unmarked package, your cells won't take in just any lipid nanoparticle. The special mixes of lipids that Pfizer slash BioNTech and Moderna are using have been optimized to be taken into cells and transfer their payload very easily. What about people that already have high blood sugar? Would they have issues with the sucrose being injected into them via a vaccine? Or would it not matter because the amount is tiny enough for it to not make a difference? Not really enough to worry about. There's perhaps 5 liters of blood, and you are talking about maybe 2 milliliters, and it's not all sugar. Your body wouldn't even notice it. As Sagittarius points out it's to mimic the levels in the blood. It wouldn't be a few cc's of just sugar or just cholesterol it's mostly water with important proportions of the important bits. Will the added cholesterol be a risk to those with high cholesterol? I assume it would be good coal and not bad but figured I'd ask anyways. The various salts are in there to balance the pH edit, also the isotonic balance is pointed out by another user, as closely as possible with human blood, and according to an article I read, the sucrose is there to somehow provide protection during the freezing process. They also add a tiny bit more saline right before injection in order to further balance the pH. The lipids, cholesterol, and other fats make up a protective fatty shell, similar to naturally occurring cell walls, protecting the chunks of mRNA. These little protective fat balls dissolve in the body and are expelled or absorbed like any other fatty cells we consume. Other than the polyethylene glycol, which is a common food additive, and the bits of mRNA, I don't think there's anything on the ingredient list that isn't naturally occurring in our food already. Salts are there to buffer solutions so that they are isotonic or no net movement of water either way. Injecting pure water would cause cells to burst as water would osmose into cells to dilute the higher concentration of stuff on inside cells. Injecting solutions with too high of a salt concentration would pull water out of cells to dilute the external solution.